We're back, deep divers in this beautiful rainforest. This is my new spot, deep divers. Raising the frequency. Oh yeah, raising the vibration. You better believe I'm woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. <laughs> Do you have someone right now in your life, deep divers, who is stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy? A beautiful woman contacted me on Instagram and she's like, Ralph, Grand Rising, I love your videos, but please help a sister out. How do you prevent people from stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy? And that's a great question, Deep Divers. We got a whole lot to talk about. Peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Such a beautiful day. Birds, butterflies, even snakes around here. Okay, deep divers. Oh my gosh, one just bit me. Look, let me tell you this. I'm a Pisces, an intuitive empath as well. So growing up, I would absorb everyone's energy. I would literally walk into a room, deep divers, and feel what everyone was going through. And also feel my energy get sapped out of me. Oh my gosh, where did my energy go? It got stolen, Ralph, that's what happened. So over the years, I've actually learned how to protect my energy, okay? The greatest thieves are not people who steal your possessions, no. The greatest thieves are people who steal your energy, your joy, your excitement, your happiness, your smile. And if you meet a person like that, deep divers, you got to tell them this. You ain't got to go home. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Let me tell you this, Deep Divers, to prevent people from stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy, remind yourself of this every single day. Nobody can steal your energy without your permission. Let me explain. Energy goes where attention flows. You've heard the saying, whatever you focus on grows. I've said it a whole lot of times, okay? But also, you turn into whatever you are tuning into. Paying attention is everything. When learning how to prevent someone from stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy, we are paying attention every single day. The question is, is it helping us or is it draining our energy? How many times, deep divers, do you pay attention to people who make you feel tired afterwards? You gotta stop that. What you consume will consume you. I've been sharing for a while, deep divers, and sometimes, people say, Ralph, I love your videos, okay? A lot of people say, thank you so much, Ralph, but there are people who say negative things about me. Oh no, but you know what? Do you know what, deep divers? I don't pay them any attention because when you pay someone attention, you are giving them your energy. Thanks. <laughs> don't mention it, right? So you got to stop paying attention because when you pay someone attention, it is a energetic cash transaction. That's why it's called paying attention. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You got to let go of people no longer serving you to make space for people who inspire you. And this is how to prevent people from stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy. Now, how can someone unintentionally use our energy. I'm an intuitive empath. I'm a Pisces. I was a psychologist before I became a psychologist. When I was younger, deep divers, 
aunties and drunk uncles would come to me and they would tell me all of their problems. I'm like, I'm only nine years old. What do you want me to do? But it was almost like they knew I could help them and I could help them. But at the same time, I was still young. I had to help myself, right? <laughs> I was a sponge person. But I had to learn that you have to create boundaries because there is something called the emotional drive-by. And the emotional drive-by goes like this. Someone pulls up to you, they tell you all of their problems, then they speed off like the road runner. Now, luckily right now I'm able to help people, but back in the day it was overwhelming. I'm here to remind you, charity starts at home and you can say no to people. Stop saying yes to people when it's a no to yourself. You can be selective with who you share your energy with. You can set up healthy, energetic boundaries. You don't have to hang out with every Tom, Dick and Harry in the universe. You can say, actually, no, your energy drains mine. Be mindful of who you hang around, deep divers, because energy is contagious. Have you ever been around a very grumpy person who doesn't say anything? Yeah, that's an energy vampire in disguise. Happened to me along my early journey. Sometimes people would just hang around with me. They would just hang out with me and they were really grumpy, bringing me drama, bad attitude, bad mood. And afterwards I would feel like so tired. I'm like, oh my gosh, did they just steal my energy? Yes, they did. So I've realized they ain't got to go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. Stop allowing people who don't do anything for you to take such a large space in your mind. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Nobody can steal your energy without your permission. Our energy is stolen sometimes when we are angry at someone. When they make us mad, whoever triggered you, thank them because you still have lessons to learn with them. Whoever angers you controls you. Whoever angers you is stealing your energy. So learn how to respond instead of react. Every single day, remind yourself that to prevent, to prevent someone stealing your energy, take away their food source, deep divers. Stop arguing with people for the sake of arguing with them because they are stealing your energy. You could use that energy to plant a tree. Like the trees here, deep divers, right? You take away someone's food source by learning the art of silence. It doesn't mean you have to be passive. You can still express yourself and tell them how you feel, but it's just that you don't have to entertain their energy, which is not serving you. It's just like someone might say something about me that's not serving me. I'm not going to start arguing with them about it because now that would drain my energy. So you've got to keep it moving. Focus on people who actually give you something. Share your dreams with, with people who actually help to nurture them. Remind yourself of this, Deep Divers. There's a great story of a Zen master and a general. Okay, this general was known to intimidate his victims. He would hurl abuse at them. But many of them tried to hurl abuse at him back and they all lost. One day, this general met a great Zen master. And the general said, look at this old fool. Let me insult him. And he kept hurling insults at this Zen master. The Zen master was calm and composed. He realized that the greatest form of wealth is your inner peace. He was very calm. He didn't respond. He didn't react to the general hurling abuse at him. And all of a sudden, the general collapsed in tears and said, great master, I'm so sorry. You see, the great Zen master had cut his food supply. He took away his food source. In other words, he had learned the art of protecting your energy. Woo! -hoo. Don't be someone's garbage can, deep divers. Many people just want to throw their garbage inside of your garbage can, and you got to say no. Every single day, Learn how to recharge your energy. This is how to prevent people from stealing your energy or unintentionally using your energy. Now I'm able to help people, but it's only because I'm able to help myself, okay? <laughs>
Charity starts at home. I'm always recharging my energy. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. And this is how to stop people from stealing your energy. Make sure you are connected to the source. In this rainforest, I'm always receiving tons of energy. So much beautiful energy. But if you are around environments which are already hard enough as it is, pollution, that's unintentionally using your energy, draining your energy. You don't even know it. If you are around people who are gossiping, arguing every single day, creating havoc, they are unintentionally using your energy because energy is contagious. So therefore, surround yourself with people, places and things which actually nurture you. Every single day, also remind yourself, we aren't only what we eat. Seven day vegan challenge. I woke up with a whole bunch of grapes in my mouth. No, we are what we feed all of our senses. Avoid, fe avoid fear-based media. If they are always showing you bad news about COVID-19, turn off the news. Turn off the radio if it's not serving you. Turn off music videos which aren't serving you which leave you tired afterwards and learn to gather your energy, restore your energy, come out into nature, go to a beach, sit with your emotions. And all of a sudden you will restore your energy. Many times we also have to stand up for ourselves. Stop saying yes to someone when it's a no to yourself. Learn that not everyone can go. Learn that not all energy is good energy. Learn that some people aren't even worthy to be in your presence. Be selective with who you hang around just like you're selective when it comes to the food you put into your mouth. Don't cast pearls at swine deep divers. If someone doesn't appreciate who you are, your beautiful energy, stop trying to impress someone. Stop trying so hard for people who don't care. Because that's how you unintentionally get your energy stolen. So every single day, deep divers, remind yourself what you focus on grows. Stop focusing on people who don't give you nothing back in return. Do you know the easiest way to ride a wave is to grab the tail of a big fish. And this is why I was tested. A lot of people, because I'm inspiring millions, they wanted to say stuff. I didn't, re I didn't react to it because I'm smart. I'm not going to let them steal my energy because I'm only focusing on what it's helping me evolve. If it's not helping me evolve, it's a distraction. Woo! And that's why I'm just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers as I look up. It's a beautiful day. I'm just, woo! Breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Burn some sage, deep divers. Be around beautiful nature spaces and remind yourself help yourself before you can help others before you want to help everyone you're not here to save everyone help yourself charity starts at home shout out to everyone who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in america and if you're a sexy ass model woo, with a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing well go and buy some okay add me on instagram deep divers for more daily inspiration at official ralph smart and facebook at ralph smart at infinite waters and snapchat at woo, good ass prana baby check out the new book deep divers for more powerful life-changing information just like this feel alive by ralph smart on amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book they try to steal our energy deep divers they forgot we were energy generators. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Raise the frequency every single day. So you have an unlimited amount of energy, okay? Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. Yo!
Whatever you focus on grows. Don't focus on people who steal your energy. Focus on people who give you energy. Focus on environments which give you energy. And also give energy to people who give you energy. And in this reciprocal relationship, nobody will be exhausted. Have a beautiful day, Deep Divers. Peace.